we will be doing question number 8 of exercise 14.5 let's read the question draw a circle of radius 4 cm so we have to draw a circle of radius 4 cm so how we can do that first we'll take a ruler okay and a compass place the meter of the compass at 0 So once you have placed here, now measure it. Just drag the pencil and measure accurately 4. Place it on 4. Now once you have done it, remove the ruler. You can lock the compass and draw the circle. Let's draw the circle. Fine. You can even write it down that radius is 4 cm center is we are just marking it at C over here let's just mark it as C okay now what next we have to suppose to do it draw any two of its chords now we have to draw two chords on the circle. I hope everybody know what's, what are chords. Chords are the one. You just have to need to join the two points on the circumference of the circle. So any two uh, points, any line segment which is joining two points of the, which are placed on the circle makes a chord. So let's, I'm um, just uh, using a different color for it. Okay, let's draw two lines. So this is one chord and, and this is, let's uh, make it here. This is another chord. Let's name them. Okay. Let's name them. Let's say it's A, B, C, Q. Okay. Now we have to actually construct the perpendicular bisector of these chords. We have done this in previous questions also. So AB is a line segment. PQ is another one. Now we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of AB and also the perpendicular bisector of PQ. So how we have done it earlier? We'll do this, just go through the same process. So I'm just taking a different color to draw the perpendicular bisector of AB and for the PQ. Fine. So let's take the compass. We will place the compass needle at one end of the line segment or the chord okay, and draw the an arc. Okay. First we have to see it should be a little bit bigger than the half way to AB. Okay. Now just draw the, always lock it first otherwise it's going to It's coming on the center, so I'll just uh, remove it from here. So that's uh, okay. Let's draw the arc. Okay, same we are going to draw it on the other side of the line. Let's see here. Fine. Okay, now next, what we are going to do, we place this needle on B. And draw the arc again. Okay. Fine. On both the sides.
Okay, let's remove the compass. Now you got two points. The arcs are intersecting at this point. Over here, the arcs are intersecting at this point. Now we have to join these points. Right? So one perpendicular bisector we have already drawn. Let's draw the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Same process. We will take, uh, let's take some other color. Let's take green. Okay. Okay. Now we will place the needle at one end. Let's cure for example here. And again, you will just see that uh, it is a little bit smaller than the segment, line segment. So we have to unlock it and just drag it a little bit shorter. Okay, lock it again. Now we will just draw an arc over here on the on one side of the line, same way on the other side as well. Okay. Now place Q on this needle on P and we are going to do it again, right? So make an arc here and also on the other side, the way we did it earlier, same way. Now again we have got the two points, you can see here that arcs are intersecting at this point and arc is also intersecting here on this point. Now what we are going to do, we have to join these two points. From here to here, fine and we can even extend this line, it, we will see that it is going to pass through the center the same way here you just extend it okay now what else the question is where do they meet now where are these bisector meeting each other so for that let's name them first let's say the bisector of AB is uh, uh, let's select the pencil first yeah is L and M okay now let's mark these two also uh, maybe by XY you can say so this one is X and this one is Y okay now here we can just mention that uh, Now here we can mention that x, y is perpendicular to p, q, correct? And m, l is 
cutting it ml is perpendicular to ab fine now these perpendicular ml and xy they are meeting at the center c so we can mention it here ml and xy meet at the center c done so this is what the question was asking us to do first it asked us to draw a circle of 4 cm then draw two chords on the circle of any length okay then we have to bisect those two chords and then we have to check it out where are these two chords meeting each other okay so after drawing the perpendicular bisector of PQ and perpendicular bisector of AB, we saw that these two bi perpendicular bisectors are meeting at the center of the circle C. Right? 